Hey, how's it going, everybody? Just want to say uh, it's good to be back home and I look forward to the opportunity to to uh, work with this wonderful uh, program they call Indiana Basketball. And uh, it should be a lot of fun and hope Coach Wooden in high regard. And that's one of the reasons I'm back because I really, he's a highly respected, really love the guy. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, if anybody has any questions, I'm ready. All right, we'll start with Alex and then go to Pete. Albert, thanks hey, Alex. for the time. Alex Bozich with Inside the Hall. Uh, just how you curious. doing, Alex? I'm doing great. Uh, just curious how this opportunity kind of came about and what the process was. Maybe, uh, obviously, you had a, a really good job with the Pacers and, and how you maybe decided that this is what you wanted to do next. Yeah, it's, uh, good. I had a good conversation with Woody uh, last summer. Uh, we just talked a little bit. I know over the, over the summer last year and um, had had some good conversations. And, and then uh, it kind of – after a while, kind of like when the season started for us and for them, you know, there was really no talks at all. And and then once the season was over with, uh, uh, our our season was over with about a week later, or so a week or so later, it, you know, we, you know, Woody gave me a call and we started talking a little bit more. And uh, he stressed, talked about the opportunity of coming back here. And I guess you know the new rule is where you can work with players on the court now, uh, you know, doing the, for the player development role and. I thought it'd be an interesting deal, and uh, you know, and you know, I had a really good conversation with Woody, and uh, like I said, I've always hold, held him in high regard. Uh, I've known the man for a long time, and he's a hell of a coach. And uh, I figured I could come back and and uh, not only help him but also learn from him. And uh, you know, so I, I'm uh, really looking forward to the opportunity. All right, Pete and Tyler. Hey, Calvert, how are you, sir? Hey, what's up, Pete? How you doing? I am doing well. I see we share the good. same hairstyle, which is good. Uh, yeah, finally, right? Finally caught up with you. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. I know you did. Hey, I, I just want to know, in your specific role, what what exactly are you going to be focusing on? What keys do you want to help these players with? Uh, you know, uh, just player development. Develop them on, on and off the court. Uh, you know, on the court, try to help them get better as basketball players. Off the court, try to help them uh, understand and you know how to become you know you know really good young men and function in, in society. I and mean, that's what it's all about for me. Uh, I've always been the type of person I always want to pay it forward. A lot of people have helped me along the way in this this great, great game. It's been good to me, and I want to do the same thing. Thanks, Coward. Mm -hmm. All right, Tyler, then Jack. Hey, Calvert, uh, Tyler Tashman with the Indianapolis Star. Um, just curious, uh, you know, just some of your favorite memories of being a player at IU and, and what, you know, how, how would you put into words what this program means to you? Also, it's meant it's mean an awful lot to me uh, and will always mean a lot, just like all the other former players that have come through here and all the fans that uh, have lived and died by this program. Uh, and they still do. And uh, that's what it's all about to me. This program is, uh, has always had a, a great tradition. And I've always enjoyed uh, watching this program grow. And obviously, you know, with programs, they, you, you have your, your good moments and your bad moments, but that's the nature of it. Uh, and, and I and I love I love this program. I have, have always loved it. And uh, I'm just happy to have that opportunity to come back and, and contribute once again. Jack, then Jim. Hey, Calvert. Um, Jack Ankeny with SI Indiana. Um, I was curious about your time kind of with Indiana and with that working with that 2013 team that won the Big Ten um, and kind of how you maybe reflect on that season and how you helped build that team up. If there's any correlation that you think um, you learned from that, that that can help you kind of with with uh, these teams moving forward. Well, it's all about just you know, like I said, playing collectively. Um, with that, that 2013 team, they had some great, there's some great guys on that team. Uh, you know, Cody, Cody Zeller, Victor Oladipo, Will Sheehy, uh, Christian Watford. I mean, and you know, Jordan Hulls, those guys, and then Yogi, Yogi, came, you know, came in and uh, and they just, uh, you know, they 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 clicked and, and played together. And that's that's all you, that's all I try to do. I just want these guys to understand the team concept. You know, this is the team game. And, uh, uh, and you know, with these guys here, I got a chance to see them uh, practice yesterday. And, uh, you know, they have some of the same abilities that that 2013 team had. But it obviously, uh, you know, you got to have the chemistry and you got to have the, the, the work ethic. And I always tell guys, 
hey, you know, your head and your heart determine how, how successful you're going to be, not only on, on the basketball court, but in life. And that's all I'm going to try to, t- you know, tell them, uh, you know, just try to go out there, play your hearts out, do everything hard uh, and, and play together. And if you do those things, you're going to be successful no matter what. Jim Link, Tyler. Hey, Tyler, Jim Coyle, Indiana Sports B Radio. Well, thanks a lot for doing this, by the way, and nice to talk to you again. How you doing? Pretty good, man. Uh, good, you're good. in a, a, a great, unique situation, a former Indiana player, all-time big, leading Big Ten scorer, worked with the hometown NBA team, the Pacers. You've worked under now multiple Indiana coaches, and you just seem to have a toolbox that is – full of, uh, in every direction, especially for your role. What was it about this offer? Was it the timing? What was it that really said this is the time to make this move? Uh, Woody, Woody, uh, you know, uh, at that time, I, I really hadn't considered coming back to college. And uh, but Woody, Woody well, is a determining factor for me. Uh, I've, I've had I've, I've had, I have so much respect for the man and what he's done. He's been able to do. And uh, and I've known him for a long, you know, forever. I've known him for a long time, even since I was a player here. And uh, you know, so I, he he and his staff, uh, you know, that he's put together is and uh, is is really what really what brought me here. And the fact that uh, I'm able to be a part of that and and uh, is uh, is very means a lot to me. And I and I appreciate Woody for for uh, you know wanting to include me in in uh, in his uh, in his dream, so to speak. All right, Thanks, Kyler, Kyler, then Mason. Hey, Calvert, Kyler Staley from Illustrated.com. I'm just curious, um, you know, what your thoughts are and how important it is for former players like yourself to be involved with the Indiana program? Uh, I think it's very important, uh, obviously, um, especially when you come from a winning tradition like Indiana has always had. You know, you look at all the Blue Bloods like Kentucky and, 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 and Duke and North Carolina who always brought their guys back. I think that's I think it's always good for to, for former players to come back and want to want to contribute to the to the program that that helped them get to where they they are right now. So and that's that's all I try to do. Um, uh, it's not about money for me. Never has been. Never about anything for me. It's all about trying to pay it forward and do what's best for the program uh, that has been good to me over these years. And and that's why I do it. And uh, it's I think it's very very important. Mason then Seth. Hey, Calbert, Mason Williams with thehoosier.com. I'm curious with you now and Jordan Holes on the on this staff as well and 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 guys like Woodson, you you mentioned him bringing you on as kind of like part of part of his dream. What is what is like the I guess the the camaraderie like of the staff knowing that it, there's a lot of pro basketball experience, there's a lot of IU experience. What is that that camaraderie around the staff like? Well, I think between me, Jordan and and and, and Woody, I think both know that I'm the better player. But um, <laughs> no, but it's I think it's the camaraderie is great. You know, you, you think about kind of different generations. You got Woody, then myself, and you got Jordan Holes, uh, you know, who have all who all about know about the pulse of Indiana basketball. We're from the same state. Uh, you know, uh, Jordan from Bloomington, you know, Woody from Indiana, me from being from Evansville, uh, you know, but we all know about the the, you know, from a, the state perspective, you know, growing up in this state. Knowing about Indiana basketball, you know, it's obvious, the camaraderie and the chemistry is like automatically there for whatever reason, you know. So, uh, like I said, I've been always in, I, mean, I had the opportunity and privilege to, to work with Jordan uh, back in 12, uh, 2012 and 2013. And, and, I, and, I, and I relish the opportunity to work with him again. So it, I, think, I think it's great. Seth and Alec. Hey, Calvert, Seth Tao with the Daily Hoosier. Um, you've talked a lot about, you know, Coach Woodson and how high of a regard you hold him in. I'm wondering, like, do you remember the first time you met Coach Woodson? What was he like then? And how has your relationship really grown over the years? Uh, I met him over, you know, when I was a player here and I was going through a tough time uh, 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 as a player. I, I think, you know, I, I, I think I played a lot of basketball during that summer. Um, I think I might have played the World University Games or something like that. And I, I played a lot of basketball and my body just wasn't, during right once the season rolled around, I had a, I was struggling a little bit in the beginning, uh, my junior year, and and he uh, he sat me down and talked to me. We had a great conversation. Uh, he and Scott May and and, and our, our relationship kind of bloomed from there. And uh, you know him playing in the pro or uh, coaching in, in the pros, I always had a, you know went out of my way, had an opportunity every time I saw him. We had a, we had a great conversation. So our our, our relationship has always been great. And uh, like I said, I, he, he's. He, <laughs> 
he he understands the game. He understands what it takes. He understands how you know uh, how to make to help players grow into into the best players they can possibly be. And uh, like I said, I, it's it's great to be a part of all that. Alec, and then Alex. Hi, Calvert. Alec Bussey, also with thehoosier.com. dot com. Hey, Thanks Alec. for doing this. I uh, wanted to ask you about how much um, the game has kind of changed. The college game has changed in your last stint. It was obviously very different. There was no NIL, no transfer portal. Um, can you explain how those things maybe affect your role now as the director of player development? Um, I mean, it's it's not that it's not. I don't think it's you know. Bad, to me, basketball is basketball. Obviously, the NIL is uh, you know it's pretty important now. And uh, with the transfer portal the way it is, I, you know, I think when I was <laughs> maybe twenty twenty twelve twenty thirteen, I think the transfer portal is maybe around five or six hundred now. It's well over a thousand every every summer. Uh, but it is what it is. You got to be able to, to adapt to it. And uh, with the NIL situation, you got to be able to adapt to that as well. So uh, I think, you know, Coach Coach Woodson and his staff have done a wonderful job of adapting to that over the last couple of years and getting some some really good players in here. And obviously the NIL situ situation, that's something, you know, in itself. Uh, and I think the, the athletic department has done a wonderful job in, 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 in working with that, raising the money, getting, uh, you know, giving these uh, student athletes opportunities uh, to make a little bit of money while they're, while they're uh, playing the sport that they love. And, uh, so it's, I mean, it, I think it's it's a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it's still basketball. You got you get them in here, and you and you want to try and win. That's the, that's the obvious thing you want to try and do. And, and I think we can we can we can win. I, I I got a chance to watch some of these guys play yesterday, and and we got this team has a lot of potential, and they can be even better than this this last year's team. So, uh, but it's a matter of it's up to them you know, how 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 good they want to be, and and uh and and I look forward to helping them try to achieve that goal. Alex and Tyler. Albert, you've obviously been a, <clears throat> been a part of the program as a, in a coaching role since you left as a player. But, you know, back in, in Coach Knight's day, it was never a question that Indiana was going to make the tournament every year. How impressed, I guess, were you not, that, that Mike has been able to come in these first two years and make the tournament back-to-back -back years? And how important do you think it is just for the overall health of the program for Indiana to get back to that standard where it's not really a question that they're going to make the tournament every year? Um it's it's I think it's very important. I mean, obviously, the uh, you know Woody's first two years, you know, he came in and automatically could get to the tournament, and and which is which is a wonderful uh, uh, success. And obviously, you want to try and do that every year, but uh, you're only as good as your players. So you gotta you gotta be able to recruit, and you gotta go out, and you gotta do the best you possibly can to get the best talent in you can, and and try, and at the same time, you gotta you gotta get that talent to to play together. And um, and I and I think, like I said, he, Coach Woody and his staff have done a wonderful job, especially this summer. Through the through the transfer portal and and then the recruitment of getting guys in here, so we can have the opportunity to play, uh, you know, in an NCAA tournament, have a chance to win. Because now with the with the land, NCAA basketball landscape, with so many people transferring, you have uh, you, you never know who's going to be, you know, who's going to get to the to the to the final four. You saw that with with uh with uh Dusty Dusty's team, I was at Florida Atlantic, right? The Florida Atlantic, and then you had some other, you know, that made a run to the final four. So you got you got all kinds of uh, you know, teams out there that that have an opportunity to to, to get to the to uh, to an NCAA tournament, knock off big teams, and, and get to a Final Four. And but that's the nature of the of the of, of basketball. Back when I played, you know, you already knew who was who was going to be uh, going far in the tournament. You know, we had I think my senior year, we had I think there was at the beginning of the year there was seven. I think all the 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 the, the reporters had seven teams going. That were going to make probably get to the final four, and they were exact. They were right because they knew we all knew who was going to get there, or have a chance to get there and have a chance to win a national championship. So, but it's a little bit different now. Uh, you got uh, it's uh, you know winning's a little. It tends to be a little bit tougher, but at the end of the day, um, it's still basketball. And if you uh, go out and and uh, uh, coach a team the best way you possibly can, and, and get them to understand that hey, it's you out there on the floor trying to get wins. Uh, and we're just trying to help you get there. And uh, but it's up to the but our, up to our guys to to make that decision that they want to, you know, want to want to get to that tournament and want to and, and make a make some hay when they get in that tournament and, and, and go far and try to win a national championship. And at the same time, obviously, during the season, try to win a conference title. So it's all about you know it's up to these guys and how they how good they want to be. And uh, that's what we try to do. We try to push them the best way we possibly can. That's what we that's what we're going to try and do and, and see where it takes us. Tyler, and then we'll wrap up with Jim. Tyler, when you talk about uh, like wanting to pay it forward um, now as a coach, 
who are some people, I guess, whether it be growing up or as kind of you were coming up in the basketball ranks that really helped mold who you are as a as a player and as a person? Obviously, my high school coach, uh, you know, my AU coaches, uh, Brad, uh, Coach Van Deer, my high school coach, uh, Coach Knight, uh, you know, helping me, Ron Felling, Dan Dockage, all those guys, uh, you know, Norm Ellenberger. Uh, uh, and then when you get to, you know, I mean, it's, it, they, they've all helped me to, to, to achieve my goal. And, you know, when I was coming up through college, I had no idea that I was going to be playing in the NBA or have, a, or have an opportunity to play for a long period of time over a decade and, and have some success in doing it. Um, so, like I said, for me, you know, you, it's all about, you know, people pushing you to, 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 to get to your goal. Um, obviously, you, you know, no one can do it alone. You, you know, it's a team sport. You, it don't matter if it's a team sport or you're playing golf or you're playing tennis or anything of that nature. It's all about um, you, people. There's always going to be people along the way to help you get there. And that's what I always try to do. I just want to try and help help them achieve. And, 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 and me looking for nothing in return. I just want to just, like I said, do what God put me on this earth to do. And that's to help people. Uh, and that's what I think that's what God puts us on this earth all to do is just to help people to, uh, to try to achieve their goals because you've already, you know, got there, deserved it, earned it. Now it's about time for you to, you know, to try to do what you can to help the next person achieve their uh, their success. That's what it's all about for me. All right, Jim, last one. Yeah, in, in your role as player development, it's also changed because back when you were playing, everybody was usually a th three or four year player for the most part. And getting mm -hmm. to the league, everybody that was their goal. But now that's changed a lot. Uh, there's so many guys, the, the top 20 picks this year are, are going to be freshmen or the equivalent. In your yeah. role, you're still going to have guys that are three or four years that you have to work with, but you also have the guys that are probably expected to be a one year guy. Uh, yeah. And that's important to the, to the program. Having the Jalen Chabinos this year is important. Talk about the importance and the challenge of having that dual role now. Yeah, it, it, it can be, it can be tough a little bit, but at the same time, uh, you got to be able to relish the opportunity. Uh, obviously, you know, with, uh, with Jalen Chabino, what he's done in just a year time, a year's time and becoming a first round draft pick, that's huge. And then, but then you got another player like Trace Jackson Davis who stayed four years and, and did, and did some great things, and, and he got drafted, and he's with the Golden State Warriors. So, it's a you know it's a little bit a give and take, but at the same time, you're still doing the same thing. You're still trying to help these guys get better, even if it's for even if it's for one year, or if, even if it's for, for four years. You want them to improve. Uh, you want you basically want them when they you know you want them better when they from when than when they came in here, and that's 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 all we try to do. And uh, you know what Woody did with with, with Jalen, and 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 what Woody they did with. Uh, uh, with Trace, uh, getting them to the point and racing those guys, you know, they were better. I, I believe that they were better before, you know, when they came in. I think they, I believe that they were better uh, now than what they were when they came in. So that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. All right. Thank you, Cal.